Occasionally when you make a gun for a kid, he's going to want a holster to carry it. The traditional holster that you make for a sword will work, but it wants to swing around and you make that on the kid and he can't take it off. This holster actually will hold this pistol a little bit better and it's best if you do it without the trigger guard because the trigger guard really makes it difficult unless you want to get really fancy. But this one also has a buckle so that you can take it on and off. It uses two 160s. I've chosen dark brown, each with about four or five inches uninflated on the end. Two two 260s with about three or four inches uninflated on the end. The two 260s will actually be the belt. The 160s are going to be the holster. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our first 160, and you want to measure it so that it's a little bit wider than the barrel because we're going to want this to slide in and out and then put a pinch twist right after that bubble like that and then I'm going to come up here and I want it to fit in this little gap right there and see if you can see how that's lining up like that and then I'm going to put a pinch twist there and then set that one aside for a moment and I'm going to take another one pick up like that what we've got to do now with this one is it's got to go from just below the hammer to this because you want it to catch. So we're going to make a bubble about that big and then put a pinch twist on the end of that. And then we're going to take our nozzle and attach it to the second pinch twist on the first one. Just like that. Now, with that sitting like that, and this one like that, this is my second balloon. I'm going to come down to where it matches up with this bubble here. Put a pinch twist there. And then just attach the nozzle to the first balloon to that one. Push that around and lock it in place. And then we're going to lay this down. And our pistol is going to sit I think I have to turn it backwards so I gotta get it right. So this one's gonna come across like that. And you wanna make this loop big enough that that can slide in and out easily without grabbing a hold. Lock that in place there. Remove that excess, we no longer need it. And then again, for this one here, same thing you wanna come across so that it's got room that your pistol can slide in and out fairly easily without grabbing. And then secure that in that opposite pinch twist there. Remove this excess. We no longer need that. Secure that in. Okay, there's your basic holster. So your six shooter will set in there and ride comfortably. Now we need to make the belt. So we're going to set that over there for a second. We're going to grab our 260s. For the catch of the buckle, we're going to make about a one inch bubble, followed by a pinch twist. Another bubble about one inch, another pinch twist. And then what we're going to do is figure out about how long that'll go halfway from the front of the kid, say this is his waist, around to his side, and twist that off there. Pop off the excess, we don't need it that and then we're going to take this, let's take the gun out for the moment, and attach it to our holster at one of the top pinch press, like that. Then we're going to take our other one, our other 260, we're going to make a loop and this loop needs to be big enough that this can slide in and out. So it's about an eight or nine inch bubble. We're going to lock them together like that and then put a pair of pinch twists here. And the way the buckle works is you just turn it sideways and open it up. And then this piece just wedges down in there. And now they can easily do and undo the buckle. And then you're going to take the other remaining part of this one, measure around the child's waist to get back to the other side here. And secure that in there. Just trim off this excess. And there, you have a holster with a buckle for your six-shooter. 
that a child can wear and take on and off when they want.